For the tremendous development and progress of this amazing area, coupled with its usually pleasant climate, has brought a never-ending stream of population pouring into Los Angeles and the surrounding communities. Mass production of modern houses with liberal financing arrangements enabled many thousands of young Americans to own their own homes for the first time. Near the lake, there now arose a city built by subdividers who had planned it. Planned it as no other American city had been planned since Lafar laid out the District of Columbia 170 years ago. Such a city, eight square miles, 18,000 homes, 140 miles of streets, over 70,000 people. They called it Lakewood, tomorrow's city today. It became world famous. Thousands of houses were sold before they were built. People came from Maine, New York, Texas, Canada, England, Germany, everywhere. They fell in love with Lakewood. They loved the way the homes and streets were laid out so neatly around the super modern shopping centers with acres of free parking. Their whole pattern of living, working and shopping became that of modern suburbia. To many, Lakewood was paradise. But even in paradise, somebody has to keep house. Lakewood's beautiful residential character must be protected. This is the job of the Planning Commission. This appointed group is the watchdog over all planning and zoning. Occasion, the public dedication of the new city administration building. It was the first building to be finished in the handsome new Civic Center. A newspaper editorial once summed it up. The Lakewood experiment, it said, is no longer an experiment. It is a success story.